Hi, I'm John Thielen. Today on Fish Head, I'm up on Lake Osakis, and we're going to chase some late afternoon, early evening crappies. Stay right where you're at. Should be some good action. great way to start the evening right there. You know that sun is just starting to dip below the trees and these fish are going to turn on and go nuts and crappies like that one. Boy right about this time they go crazy and let me tell you why. I've set up right on the edge of a weed line. Now I'm out in 17 feet but right up there is the old weed line that's about 12 feet deep and up in there is where these fish were up until just a few days ago. But what happened is the weeds finally started dying off because we got a bunch of snowpack on the ice and it cut down on the sunlight, cuts down on the oxygen. And what happens is those crappies, they move out here and they'll start roaming out here looking for food, but they're still so close to that weed bed. They just can't resist coming up this edge and looking up in there just in case there's still bait in there. And you can bet there is still some bait in there, but they'll eat throughout the day out here in this deeper water. Then they'll slide right up this edge, get as close as they can to the edge of those weeds and see what's in there about this time of night. And I can see them starting to come in pretty thick on the screen right now. Boy, it's just great when you get that competition going down there like that. And these fish now, they're, they're coming in and they're all thinking the same thing. And look at the size of that bluegill that came up there. You know, sometimes in a spot like this, these fish will travel together. These bigger gills have no problem cruising with a school of crappies. And you look at him, he's a great gill. We'll throw him in the pail, he'll go home and we'll eat him along with the crappies we get tonight. But they'll, they'll feed together when they're in, in the edges of these weeds because they're feeding on the same thing. They're feeding on little bugs and larva, and little minnows and all kinds of stuff up in there that lives right on that edge. Hard to say. I hope so. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, there we go. Another little crappie. You know, I want to show you what I'm using here because I'm, I'm really having to fish these fish very lethargically. And I'll tell you why. We're right behind a storm and a little bit of cold has come in here. The fish just seem to have really slowed down. So what I'm having to do is every time these fish come up, they'll come roaring up and they'll look at it and you'll, you'll swear that they're just gonna nail it, but they won't. So you gotta sit and jig and jig and jig to get them up. But once they get up to me, I've gotta just hit the brakes and stop. And that's what I'm doing. And then there's just this little action that's almost natural when I'm fishing this Lindy Toad. And I, I wanna show you what actually happens here. If you look at the way the hook is on that jig, it's offset about 10%. And what that does is it makes it go like this, okay? So when I'm sitting there trying to be perfectly still, there's no way to be perfectly still. I'm moving just a little bit and that jig's down there doing this. And then that wax worm hanging off the end, it's actually floating in the water. So what's happening is this thing's just dancing back there. It's just tantalizing to them and they'll come up and nip at it. Now, one of the things I do though, is when these fish nip away at that wax worm, if this thing gets nipped in half or all of a sudden it's kind of all chewed up and all mashed up and, and it's not able to dance like that and hang there anymore, I reel up and I change because as far as I'm concerned, that's as good as not having bait because that toad is designed to just dance and make that bait just dance back behind it, whether it's a plastic or that wax worm. And if you can have it dancing like that, these crappies and bluegills, they just can't resist it. 
This is the bottom right here. These are all fish all the way up. I got one on me right now. Oh, I missed him there. If you have a fish that you miss and he doesn't react again right away when you drop to him, reel up and check because most of the time you've lost your bait. Look at that, one after another. Another good one. Boy, when they come smoking off the bottom like that, it is so fun. It's another dandy crappie. Boy, it's just been one after another tonight. You know, you can do this on a lot of bodies of water. Just find that weed line where those weeds are kind of at their, the end of their life. And you know what? You'll find the fish coming up on there right about this time. As soon as the sun hit the treetops, they just started going nuts. Put on a bright colored toad, drop it down there, start catching them. Hey, for more current and up-to-date information, check back with us each week here on Fish Ed. We'll take you somewhere across the Midwest and we'll chase your favorite species. I'm John Thielen, we'll catch you next time.